Welcome back, YouTube. This is going to be part two of our three part opening search for Exodia. So, we actually already got a right arm. What I really want is a headpiece, a right geki, and solemn, judge, solemn judgment. I already got my BLS. A Chaos Emperor wouldn't be that bad, just to bring back some memories for back in the day. And my, I think in my final video, I'm going to open up the promos. And let's get started. Legendary Collection 3 Yugi's World. Just so you know, this this is sealed. And you know, there's no jankiness being pulled on you guys. Open that up. So I actually got a great deal on the collection. I was going to get a whole case of them. Like retail style but you know student you can only afford so much <laughs> okay so again another seal of Ori calicos our five english edition meaning second edition packs and if you guys saw the first video there is a uh, cardboard playmat underneath this which i'm not going to show right now so let's get started on our five packs Mega packs of Yugi's World. Let's start up the first pack right here. A Mystic Box. Last time we saw a Mystic Box, I think I got a BLS out of it. So maybe it could be our lucky card today. Mystic Box. Silent Swordsman level 5. Toon Goblin Attack 4. So Pegasus card. And our ultra rare is 12, 15. A Gravekeeper's Recruiter! Awesome! So if you see right here behind me, I do have my two favorite cards from the pulls. And then I have my Gravekeeper's set here and then all the cards we pulled over there. So in my third video at the end, I'm going to show you all the uh, cards we pulled at once. Just to go over, you know, what's what we pulled. It's a massive collection, but adding my Gravekeeper's, you know, Let's call it. And then, Secret Rare Seven Tools of the Bandit. Awesome. And finally, another trap card Cataclysm. Okay, cool. A level. F so, I think every, before and after the, the rare and the super, I will get a level monster if you guys have seen so far. Black Horus and Earth. Put the rare over here, our commons. Let's sleeve up our secret rare seven tool. Now I do, you know, sleeve up almost all my cards just because I love to keep them in impeccable condition. So, so far we got a Gravekeepers and two trap cards. Let's go to that second pack. Knight's title. Ooh. So this would be a lot better if you didn't have to tribute the Dark Magician. If you just had a Dark Magician on the field and special summon a Dark Magician Knight from your deck hand or graveyard would be way cooler. But you know, they had to limit it somehow. So Knight's title. Swift Gaia, the Fierce Knight. Remember when this came out in like 03 or 04? It was a secret rare out of a 10, and that was the only way you can get it. And now our giant soldier of stone. Ooh, so this is the Toon Box. Toon Summon Skull, and... S Wait, that could be a Gravekeeper. Oh, even better, an ultra rare Morphing Jar. Another TP, original TP card, but, you know, massive reprints and Korra. They, oh, okay, this is sweet. So, you guys can see I got a change of heart. One of the most awesomest cards ever from the original set. And a Morphing Jar. So the Morphing Jar was something Bakura used a lot in the anime. And change of heart was his, like, signature card. If you guys ever watched the uh, first series. And then another Super Light Force Sword. Command Knight. And Magical Hats. So... Let's leave up that change of heart, which is just... 
I think now I have a Monster Reborn, a Change of Heart, and I, think, I, I do have a Regeki somewhere, but it's just that. I want a brand new one out of this set that I'm opening up. So, Change of Heart deserves to be on that same level as BLS. So, there was, it's basically one of those cards that just too good. And it's be, been banned almost forever. So, target one monster your opponent controls and take control of it until the end phase. It doesn't have to be normal summon, special summon, doesn't matter what it is. It does target, but it's just, there's no cost. It's just a free, free take. Ooh, another solemn warning common. Would have been so much better. It was, you know, super ultra. But, you know, whatever. So, solemn warning. So, we're going to put solemn warning under its own little pile. It's a good card that we're going to actually use. The, crea the creator's incarnate. Like I said, it's the tune pile. Look, so far, both rares have been tuned. Tune cannon soldier. And we get ourselves a destroy all spell and trap cards on the ultra rare heavy storm. I think like a four or five, um, I think it was 13 or 14 on the ban list. This actually came back for a limited time. Oh, and the sniper. So that the machina cards I was saying, there's sniper, there's that one, and then there's, there's an ultimate fortress in here too. Another life four. Is that like three life four swords in a row? No, just two. Okay, that's weird though. Magical hats. Dark Magician Knight and a Defusion card. Did we pull the Knight's title in here? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Knight's title, Dark Magician Knight. That's not that's pretty cool. Okay, let's sleeve these up. If I get I think I from the last box we opened in this one. That's a play set of Life Four Swords. So the rest are just gonna go in my backup collection and then the main binder is gonna get the triplet Life Four Sword. But very nice. Ultra rare, heavy storm. Original was a super. For now you eh, heavy storm can go there, but these just awesome. Okay, two packs to go. Let's see what we can get. Alpha, the Magnet Warrior. Another um, Yami Bakura card, Magnet Bug. I'm gonna keep Magnet Bug just because I'm adding. Um, I actually put an LOB Magnet Bug in my uh, Bakura deck right now, so I'm gonna add that instead. Non Spellcaster area, a Monster Reincarnation. Breaker, the Magical Warrior. Ultra rare brings back my <sighs> compulsory evacuation device and the final. Could it be? Oh, oh, oh! Right now, this is gonna when Link summoning comes out. This is gonna be so prevalent in the meta. So first of all, everyone in Duel Links has been using Venus, but not just that. Also in um. The regular Yu-Gi-Oh, they're, they're using Shine Balls and Venus to basically summon out Link Monsters real quick. And I have one more sleeve here. And I'll show you guys what I... That, that's sick. Venus is going to go with everyone else here. Now, before we get Soul Rope and Guardian KS. But we're going to put... Agent of Venus, because that's one of those cool cards we're on the lookout for. And I'll show you guys what I got. So I basically got these Asian play sleeves. For anyone's a Neo sleeve. And I got like a whole set of them, like I think a whole case basically for $20. So I'm super excited about that. I was actually able to basically Resleeve up all the old cards I didn't have sleeves and they were sitting in boxes and here and there all my rares and hollows that you know I just they were extras basically But with the new sleeves I just got not to I'm able to resleeve them actually make them look nice in my collection and all the binders where they were in like oversized like you know 
non-standard sleeves, non um, small sleeves, they're in standard size sleeves or like extra large sleeves. And I get to have all these pretty cards in all the right places. So final pack of Destiny, come on. I know it's Yugi's world, but Kaiba, give us some luck. Or even, you know what? Grandpa, we're gonna go with Grandpa. Grandpa's gonna give us some luck. Which one we're gonna go in for his Exodia. Okay, so Gravity Axe Brawl, Horus, Dark Sage, Catapult Turtle, okay. Gravekeeper's Descendant, awesome. And our secret rare is a normal monster? Spellcast? That is awesome! The left leg of Exodia, the Forbidden One. And a Magic Cylinders. Awesome. The Fusion and Emissary of the Afterlife. So, when this originally came out, this was actually put into Exodia decks right away. So it's, it's really funny that we got in the same pack as a leg. And when this card is sent from the fields of the graveyard, each player adds one level three or lower normal monster from their deck. So what we were doing was running three of those, um, a tribute to the doom, I think it's tribute to the doom, discard a card and then destroy one card on the field, one monster card on the field. And they're just discarding this. Um, or was it, no. There was some sort of like crazy chain like that. Where you discard a card, you, no, you, you sacrifice a card on the field, because it just says sent from the field. It doesn't say sacrifice, destroy, whatever. Just send it from the field. So just like a Witch of the Black Forest sang in before the Erratas. So we got ourselves a leg and an arm from the opposite sides. Our Black Luster, Change of Heart, and Venus. Very nice. That to make you see all of them as much as oh, no change of heart space. There we go. And our recruiter. So we got two, three ultra rare gravekeepers so far, and a super rare gravekeepers. So two actual monsters and a spell card for them. Thank you guys for watching. I want to get you back in the next video, my last part of this the hunt for Exodia. So we're looking for a head of Exodia and a Raigeki right now. Those are the two main ones. And maybe another Gravekeeper's card would be super nice. See you next time, guys. Bye. Oh, almost forgot. The little rating thing that everyone asks in the end of their videos. Thumbs up if you like the video. Leave a comment if you want. If you leave a thumbs down, just, you know, let me know why so I can improve for the next time. Because I know you guys love watching these. So hit you up next time. Bye.